What is quickest in a drag race? The new McLaren Artura, a Lamborghini Huracan Performante, or a Porsche 911 Turbo S. Well, we're gonna find out, because I'm gonna race them over the standing quarter mile. Because I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. Let me tell you about this McLaren. It has a three litre twin turbo V6 that puts out 585 horsepower, but it's mated to an electric motor that has 95 horsepower. So combined, you have 680 horsepower. The system also puts out 720 newton meters of torque. It drives the rear wheels for an eight speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. This car weighs in at 1,500 kilos and it costs from 190,000 pounds. Meanwhile, the Lamborghini has a 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10 engine. It puts out 640 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque, and it drives all four wheels via a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. According to Lamborghini, that car weighs 1,380 kilos. However, Lamborghini quotes dry weight, so the car without a driver and fluids. If you add those back in, that Lamborghini will actually weigh 1,480 kilos. The price of it? Well, you can't get it anymore, but when it was new, it was £208,000, and that car is insured for £200,000, so not much of a loss there. It's actually owned by Auto Torque, who tune cars, and they've lent us that car kindly for this race. Finally then, we come to the Porsche 911 Turbo S. It has a 3.8 litre twin turbo flat six, which puts out 650 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. It drives all four wheels via an eight-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox, and the Porsche weighs in a 1,600 140 kilos. Price? £180,000. Now, if you're thinking about selling your current car, you can do it through CarWow. All you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. If you want to find out more about that service right now, just click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can do it at a later date by simply Googling Help Me CarWow and we will help you sell your car. Now, Let's get on with the racing, but before we do, it's time to speak to the drivers. First up, the driver in the Lamborghini. It is Sam. Racing driver Sam, to be precise. Hello, racing driver Sam. Is that actually your full name, like on your birth certificate? Hello, Matthew. Yeah, it has been christened that now. We've, uh, we've changed it. So how's your Lamborghini? Do you reckon it's going to beat this McLaren? You have four-wheel drive. I don't. Um, I, I know that car is very, very fast. I know this is quick, but I don't know. I think it'll be close. I don't know how good the launch is in that McLaren, but we'll see. And you, you know, you're know, you worth like a few tenths of a second because of your racing driveriness. I'll push the pedal as hard as you do and we'll see what happens. All those years of training definitely paying off. Okay, let's go to the driver in the Porsche. And um, seeing as we have me in an English car, we have a German in the German car. It's Daniel from the CarWow Germany channel. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Matt. How are you? I'm very well. I mean, I'm happy I'm in a Porsche, so nothing to complain here, apart from the very, very red interior, maybe. How do you feel about the way I say Porsche? Well, I've become used to it. You always say it like that, I think. How do you say McLaren? McLaren? Alan? Alan? I think it might be a delay on this. So, Sam, listen, we need you to talk throughout this whole video in an Italian accent so we can like maintain this Britain versus Italy versus Germany theme, okay? I know you're not Italian, but, you know, you're, you're Irish, which is kind of like honorary Italian. He, he'd give the car character. That was brilliant! Definitely do that and wave your hands about a lot, okay? Even when you're driving. Standard me, anyway. And maybe when we were doing the drag race, you need to honk your horn as well. Yes, it's very good horn in these, yes. You've sort of gone Russian. <laughs> I know. Do you know what? Let's do a horn test, seeing as we're on that theme already. So honk your horn, Sam. Let's see how Italian it sounds. Let's do the British horn. That sounds exactly the same. Do them together, Sam. Okay, let's hear the German horn. Right, they're all the same. Okay, um, that was pointless. Let's do the engines now. I'm gonna rev up this McLaren. Let's have a listen to it. It makes a noise, it's quite a loud noise. There's no soft limiter, but it is a bit of a boring noise. Let's move to the Italian car, which I think is gonna be very vocal. Cool. 
Actually, do you know what, Daniel? This is going to be very, very country appropriate. So the British car is noisy, but it doesn't sound that great. The Italian car is noisy, but it sounds great. And now we're going to have the German car, which sounds like this. That sounds like disappointment. Did you even hear that? No, it's kind of subdued and understated, just like a German. Though, just like a German, it's probably going to win. Anyway, let's see if we can do something about that. Let's, let's finally get on with this drag race. Before we do though, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. We've got some really cool drag races coming up, some absolutely special ones that I can't wait to tell you about. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon. You won't miss them. I think I'm gonna put my aviators on for this, because I'm serious. Oh, this is off the line pretty good. It's dropping that Lambo. Come on, McLaren! Am I reeling in the Porsche? Nope. Shall we pause for a second and let's just play the German national anthem. Happy Daniel? Surprisingly so. I knew the Porsche was going to be good, but that launch really, I felt like, like falling down. Yeah, I felt like I want to fall down. How about you, Sam? Mm, it's just sad, isn't it? That Porsche just absolutely made us look silly. It make us look silly. Um. <laughs> I want to go again, I bogged. I'm going to beat you. I don't really care about the Porsche. He's not even here in my mind. I can beat the Atora. I can beat you. It's very good. <laughs> that actually means something in Italian. It's, it means, what the f eh? Right, here we go again. I've got to get this start just bang on the hands going down to have any chance. That Lambo will not beat me. Told you. But I'm still... He ain't gonna look, I'm gapping him. Sam, I think regardless of what you do, this is gonna beat you. Yeah, it just bogs. I don't get it. Bog, smog, whatever. I don't think that that is going to pull on this. It's just not going to. We'll find out in a moment. But Daniel, over to you. The German smugness, eh? Yeah, I'm, I'm still speechless. Actually, my hand is shaking just a little bit because this car is just overwhelming. It is relentless, isn't it? The way that piles on the power. My hand is dead steady, but that's because I've taken a load of heroin. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't! Don't do anything, I don't drink, I don't even eat sugar. My life is bloody dull, apart from this, because I get all my dopamine from drag racing all these amazing cars. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Porsche won, completing the standing quarter mile in 10.2 seconds. The McLaren took 10.5 seconds, and the Lamborghini was last, crossing the line in 10.6 seconds. Now we can have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The car's going to be in automatic mode and their least sporty setting. We're going to race to the half mile, see which car is quickest. Let's do it. I'll call it in. Let's get to 50. Oh, our petrol motor's kicked in. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that took forever to kick down. So much for talk, Phil. <laughs> I'm bloody dead. Fun. That gearbox is too slow. This car in comfort mode, it was just like, I floored it, and it was like, nothing, 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 nothing. Then it suddenly woke up and off it went. That was just bizarre. It had to go from sixth all the way down to God knows what. It got a little bit of a pickup because the electric motor did some drive for a bit, but I was floundering. But after that, 
you didn't actually begin to gap me anymore. Lamborghini, what happened? Did you beat the Porsche? Remember, you've got to speak in an Italian accent. I, uh, I, I lost to the Porsche. Uh, it beat me. It's very, very quick. I do not understand Porsche too fast. No, but seriously, I don't get that Porsche anymore. I don't understand. This was really dramatic, really fast. I thought I'm ahead, and then the Porsche just started pulling ahead. Actually, uh, wait a minute. You're not allowed to speak in your normal voice. Try again, explaining it with your Italian accent. I did it in Italian. I can't hold it. I don't know what I'm saying. I lost. It beat me. Porsche win. Are you from like Kazakhstan now? <laughs> One sec, let's hear your Italian accent, just so we can have a, a benchmark and then they can decide. I don't need to do an Italian accent. I am in an English car, so I'm speaking with an English accent. Daniel, can you speak in a German accent in your German car, which is appropriate, and tell us what happened from your point of view? I'll try my best to do it in a German accent. So. I thought the Lamborghini might actually be neck and neck with me, but after like two seconds or so, the Porsche started pulling, surprisingly. Yeah, do you know what? I wouldn't have thought that. I thought that like, you know, because it's less aerodynamic, it would probably tail off, but no, it just goes and goes and goes. I think it might be a different story if we remove the kick down from the gearbox out of the equation. Actually, no, let's change something. Let's do it fully in like the sportiest setting, but auto again, because I want to see what this gearbox does if it's in sports mode. Right, and here we go. Same thing again. Race to the half mile from 50 miles an hour. This time the car's in auto, but they're sportiest auto setting. Three, two, one. On, go. This just changed it when I put my foot down. That just went. Come on! Oh. That was weird. Why did you do that? It was just like third ball. Okay then, Sam. You won that. I win. I beat. I win. I win. And now you're Albanian. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel? Well, I may have been a little sleepy pushing the pedal down, but I don't think that's really the case. Maybe I'm just making excuses here. Well, do you know what? You've been winning everything so far. So if it's driver error, it's a German driver making an error in a German car. It's Germany's problem. Well done, Italy. Well done. Let's have a bit of the Italian national anthem. Last rolling race, third gear roll on, manual mode, sporty setting. Come on, McLaren, you got this. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Maca. Come on now. Modus is there. Come on, Great Britain. Great Britain. Britain is great! Ish. We have to remember to sing King now, not Queen. Do you know what? Out of all the national anthems, the Italian is the best, isn't it? It's the most flamboyant. It's like the car, looks the best, especially with that Italian flag down the side. Looks the smartest. Then the McLaren, then the Porsche. Goes with the national anthems. Uh, Daniel, I've just decided that the British national anthem is better than the German one. Well, for historic reasons and nationalism and Germany, I will not disagree on this one. I don't know what that means and I don't think I want to either. Now we're going to have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. The car which stops in the shortest distance wins. When we reach the cone, full emergency stop. If you'd rather watch another drag race video with the McLaren, click on the pop out banner up there or the link in the description below. Anyway, here comes the line. Stop it. Oh dear, this sounds ridiculous, but I think I could have pressed this pedal harder because I didn't really engage ABS. It's quite a stiff brake pedal, like a racing car, and I've got quite weak legs. I agree. On all counts. Okay, good. Okay, here we go again. I've got my seat closer to account for my short legs. Let's see if we can do it. Come on, McLaren. made no difference. 
But what it did do was just flip the result between the Porsche and the Lamborghini. I did think that if, if this had another go, I... Uh, Daniel, I have no idea what that Italian person just said, do you? I think he said that he stopped better than me, which actually makes kind of sense because the Porsche is heavier. I, uh, on the second go, I, I, I thought I had more temp, so I, I brake better to beat Porsche. Porsche? Do you want to do one more go? Best two out of three between you guys. I mean, I'm just here for, for the hell of it, but do you want to try it? I mean, I'm up for it if, if you want to. I definitely want to, because I, 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 yeah, I want to see what happens. I think we've all had a good day, guys. Still not understanding you. I don't, I don't know what you're saying. It's all just gobbledygook. I feel we need to finish now. I just can't get Borat out of my head. That's what happened. <laughs> this brake pedal hurts my foot. That now, that's very Italian. Oh, we get all the hate from the Italians. Final, final attempt from 100. I'm going to use both feet on the pedal now. I still came last, did a bit better against the Porsche, or it did a little bit worse than before. And it's a clear victory now then for the Lamborghini. What would you like to say about that, Samuel? I win again is, is good, I don't know. <laughs> now you've put Albanian or whatever it is in my head, I can't do it. One thing though, Daniel, is... I'm not sure that your German accent is actually that great. Well, I don't know what to say. I can assure you my British accent is even worse. Let's hear your British accent, come on. Hang on, so what, what is it that you usually say, So I am Matt Watson and I'm, I'm driving a McLaren. I love the way that is definitely a little bit of Midlands accent there, that is good. <laughs> so I think you could, should be able to talk a little bit better with your German accent, sir. Yeah, I'll have to work on that, I have to watch some World War II movies and get back into it. <laughs> There was this show on British TV when I was growing up called Hello Hello and it was so like hackneyed the German accents on it. And a small bottle of perfume for your assistant. Thank you very much, but I don't wear it. <laughs> yes, that is very good, yeah. I find it a little bit harder to say when I have the retainer in my mouth, uh, trying to get the, the British teeth a bit more like the American teeth. <laughs> anyway, that's enough bollocks. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Actually, before we do that, oh, I've got to tell you this. If you like these performance cars, but they're a little bit out of your price range, I have found a good deal on a performance car through CarWow. If you want to find out what it is and the saving, click on the pop-out banner up there. Follow the link in the description below. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Click on those windows there for some more videos. And on that box there, to go to CarWow, to sell your car the easy way. Just upload photos, brief description, dealers across the country will be on your car, pick the highest offer, they'll come to your house, put the money in your account, take the car away, and I don't know why I'm doing like this, but click the box. Bye.